Hey, 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 what's going on? Welcome to Video Marketing Made Easy. Today, we're gonna to be talking about marketing to your target audience, identifying who you're trying to reach and your goal in talking to them. I know this might sound super boring, but it's actually a really important step that many organizations skip over. To me personally, it's the most important part. And when you do this, it really makes the creative process so much more easy and focused. A lot of the times, when a business or a nonprofit decides to make a video, they come up with the idea for the video first. See, the problem with this is the video might end up being fun or beautiful, but it doesn't elicit any action. We've worked with a lot of small businesses who wanted to use their entire advertising and marketing budget on creating a viral video. And yeah, people talk about viral videos and share them with their friends, but what is really the value to the company that created it? They entertain the viewer for a minute and that viewer might remember the content of the video, but will they remember the company behind it? And will they be motivated to get on their email list or make a donation? Probably not. That's why we believe your first step with every piece of video marketing content you create should be to identify your target audience and your goal for that specific video. So how do you identify your target audience? Well, when you're just getting started with video marketing, start with the low hanging fruit and talk to the audience that you already have. As you expand your marketing, then you can reach out to other audiences. But in the beginning, start with strengthening that existing connection. Look at Google Analytics and your social media data and think about the people on your mailing list, the ones who you interact with regularly. In general, what's the gender, the age group, income bracket, where do they live, what are they interested in, and what are their likes and dislikes? Now, try to come up with one person in that group who can represent the whole. Now, this can sound like a daunting task, but don't make a big deal out of it. Just remember, it's just a place to start. So just pick one person to start with and talk to that one person in this one video. If you create something that resonates with that one person, it should resonate with everyone in your current audience. And beyond that, it could resonate with all the people out there who are like the people in your current audience, but they just don't know about you yet. Next, narrow down on a specific goal. Now, we're not talking about the goal of just making sales or getting donations. That's too broad. When you start with a broad goal, it's really hard to narrow down on what to say that will stand out when someone is scrolling through their newsfeed. That's when you end up with generic messaging telling people that, hey, we have great deals, we have service with a smile, and you're conveniently located in whatever location. Get specific. What do you want the results of this one video to be? Do you want to increase sales of this one particular item or get support for this one program? When your goal is specific, you can filter out all the generic noise and keep focus. Once you figure out your target audience and your goal for this one video, write it down and keep it in a place where it'll be easy to reference. It's so easy to lose focus through the writing and planning process. You might get distracted, you'll see a fun video that you wanna pull from or people will hear that you're working on a video and they'll have a great idea for you. You have to remember to keep your target audience and your goal top of mind. That's your filter for all the wonderful ideas that come in. Is this going to appeal to my target audience and will it help me achieve my goal? If not, just jot the idea down for a future project, but stay the course with your current plan. Now we wanted to give you an example of where we worked with a client to define their target audience and a specific goal so that you can see what the resulting video looked like. The client was Foundation Spine and Posture, their chiropractic clinic here in Honolulu. So they could have said that their target audience was anyone on Oahu with back pain. But for this video, they decided to target people with scoliosis. When someone is diagnosed with scoliosis, they're usually told that there's no treatment, they just need to monitor the condition and eventually get surgery if it gets bad enough. So for this video, Foundation Spine's goal was two parts. One, get the viewer to believe that treatment is possible and two, get them to schedule a consultation. The link to watch this video is in the description it's over six minutes, which is longer than we normally go, but because the content was good and the target audience would be motivated and craving more information because of their diagnosis, we felt it was appropriate to go this long. So 
let's sum it all up. You know we like mantras here, so here's one that's used a lot in the marketing world. If you're talking to everybody, you're talking to nobody. And we can apply that to goals too. So if you want everything, you get nothing. We made a PDF to go along with this called Three Essentials to Start Your Video Marketing with Zero Investment. We covered the first two here, and we'll take the third one in another episode. You can get that at videomarketingmadeeasy.net backslash freebie. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Q&A in our Facebook group. So if you're not in the Facebook group, I encourage you to join right now. Go ahead, the link is in the description. Go ahead and join, and we're gonna see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you haven't gotten started with your video marketing yet, check out this episode and be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss the next episode of Video Marketing Made Easy.